Are you coming or not? Then we got Mr. Jimmy Park behind me. Girl. Yeah, just take your poor little time. It's kind of hot. Oh, now another car coming. All right, y'all. So today is going to be a um, life update, basically. So I'm just going to go over how things are going in my life. As of today, today is February 13th. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's start off with Valentine's Day. I'm still single. <laughs> but I'm okay with that. You know, whatever it is, what it is, child. When when the Lord get ready to send my boy ass, you waiting on me? Okay. When the Lord get ready to send my boy ass, I'm probably going to be so slow and don't even realize it. But hey, it is what it is. Okay, as far as let's see school i am in my next class i'm pretty sure i told you i'm in a class called um caring for the perpetrator so the class is going okay um but i still have not found a preceptorship site a clinical site to where i could do my preceptorship with and yeah it's like i'm getting emails with people responding either saying that they can't do it which is cool at least they're responding and then i had a few that say yeah you know this is what we could do da 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 but then when we go to follow up or to meet then they don't follow through with it so it's like slap in the face for me um i'm worried a little because i don't want to have to finish this class with an eye because i haven't done my clinicals but yet there's others in the class that hasn't found a preceptorship as well so i'm not the only one um, outside of school, I have completed my sexual assault nurse examiners courses for both adults and pediatrics. I have been lucky enough to see one nurse, to shadow a nurse um, doing a sexual assault examination, which was good for me, but I've only seen one. And it's like either I'm picking the wrong schedules or they just come far in between, which I kind of find that hard to believe. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess, but I need to see more so that I can start with the preceptorship on that part and then I can become um, sexual assault trained, same trained. Um, so for March, I basically have every day that I'm off from my job, I'm either picking up a half of a shift or a full shift to shadow someone to see if I can see some more sexual assault examinations. So basically if they get a call out and I'm on the schedule to shadow, they're supposed to call me so that I can come meet them and sit through the examination, the interview, and all of that. Yada, yada, yada. So I'm starting to think that they're just not calling me when they get phone calls. They probably, you know how nurses are, don't want to train or whatnot. They probably think I'm going to be all in the way, which, I mean, it's kind of awkward, but I want to train so that I could do something good for the community as well. So I'm thinking that they're not calling me. But like I said, for the month of March, every day that I'm off, a lot of those days I'm picking up to see if I can follow someone um work girl it's always something going on at work oh my god so right now I got to put in PTO which normally stands for playing time off but in this case it is prepare the others because sis has denied my vacation I don't know why because why because she hasn't responded to my request i put this request in immediately as soon as i came back from new york in december i put in the request for march now granted this is when chronos was down our scheduling thing was down so we had to do it by paper so i filled out the paper and i um i put it in her folder on her door when i realized that she hasn't approved me or denied me which they have a, a window to do that which she hadn't done that i emailed her so her response was that she didn't get a request from me okay so i take pictures of everything so i took a picture and i copied my um the copy that i gave her and i took a picture of me sliding it under her door so at this point i put in the original in the folder by her door i emailed her and i slid a copy under her door now the schedule is out and she got me on the schedule okay so yeah you didn't follow policy because like i said policy is for you to either approve or deny within a certain amount of time because how are we supposed to plan for whatever it is we got planned now granted i ain't got nothing to do 
but I'm gonna be off and I want to be off for that week it's spring break week so I might find something to do I don't know spring break for whoever I ain't you know my child grown girl I don't know but the point is it's the principle you didn't approve me or deny me and you think you're just gonna put me on the schedule no not me you got to tell me why I'm on the schedule um what else what else what else black history month so every day on my social media i've been making it a point to mention something in black history because you know black history in school today is washed down i mean they mention certain things certain events but they're not really getting in depth of what really happened the real deal real deal so i'm just putting it out there so like the first week i mentioned you know african-american athletes the second week i've done um inventors we invented some cool stuff I and mean, then i did it outside of the normal stuff um and then um so this week here i think i'm gonna do the goat g-o-a-t the greatest of all time and i'm gonna put who i just felt like was the greatest to ever do in whatever category it's not like a particular category it's whatever as long as they're black and that's what i'm gonna do and then the last week i'm gonna throw a little twist in there i'm gonna do um the names of black lives matter victims so every day I'm going to throw up a victim who, you know, was brutally killed or gunned down or or, or um, hunted like an animal all because of the color of their skin in recent times. Not not like the Emmett Till's. I mean, not that he's not important, but, you know, everybody heard of Emmett Till. So I'm going to say their names and put it out there that's going on now in today's time. So I am representing Black History Month in that way. What else? Um... So yeah, that's about it. Oh, um, my savings. I am doing really, really well. Putting money in my savings account. Let me let this one go up. Putting money in my savings account. Um, my goal is, of course, to save money. <laughs> but my short-term goal is to whenever I need to quit my job, or whatever you know, foolishness they gonna come up with. Like they gonna have me on there with seven, seven patients or something. But I'm just gonna be like, I'm not accepting this assignment. I'm quitting or whatever. But whenever I decide to quit, quit and walk out, I want to take me a two-month vacation. So I need to have all of my bills, you know, able to pay all of my bills for two months. And then I get back out there in the work field. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard for me to find a job. I mean, well, I'm a nurse. I'm experienced. I'm skilled. I just, you know, I just, when I leave this job, I don't want to just have to immediately have to find something else to do. So I want to be stable enough to where I can take off some time and then go out there or weigh out my options if i want to travel or something and i'm pretty much there so that's my goal financially and i've been doing really really well with that um i've been going out a little bit by myself granted but i've been stepping out of the house a little instead of staying in the house 24 7 because i'm really a homebody and i'm comfortable at home but i've been going out but I think that's about it, you guys. I'm about to go pick up my lasagna from my mom's house. I made it yesterday for her. She wanted that for the Super Bowl. I don't know why she wanted super, um, lasagna. But anyway, I didn't want to wait until it cooled down yesterday to get some. So I'm going back today to get my my share of it. And the Super Bowls, I'm going to predict the Rams. I think the Bengals are the underdogs, but then they could be a Cinderella team as well. But I'm going to go with the Rams because my homeboy... I don't know him for real, but Jalen Ramsey, you know, he came from the Jacksonville Jaguars, and like he said, we're going to the Super Bowl, and we're going to win that bit. They're probably going to win that bit today. So that's what I'm going for. I hope you guys have a productive week, month, year, whatever it is, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, hit your bell notification, and thanks for watching.